Hi, in this video I'd like to just give you a rundown of the features in the new Jigsaw Tools 5.3 Beta C release. First of all, we've added new functionality which I'll explain shortly, but our main focus for this release was the performance and you should all notice a really significant performance increase with this version. Now we're going to work on the performance at the end of the auction Vista development cycle, but with a lot of customers on lower powered machines, we decided to bring that forward. So here we are running seven auction Vista charts on NinjaTrader 7, four auction Vista charts on S5 Trader, OEC Trader. We've got another two on NinjaTrader 8 and another two on multi charts. And you can see CPU performance overall and memory utilization is minimal. Now you'll also find that scrolling and changing intervals is much faster in this version. So if I change intervals up and down and scroll across, it's very fast. In terms of new functionality, we've added the depth tuner and that allows us to tune out the least significant depth. In addition to that, you can also click the large trade circles now to find out how much trade actually traded for that circle. We've changed the default colors so they are a little easier on the eye and you can now set the grid lines and the price axis to different colors. You can see the price axis is one color and the grid line is another color and we can even take the grid line to black if we want to. Now because of the way the jigsaw works, if you actually want those new defaults to appear when you initiate a new depth and sales auction vista chart, you're going to have to delete the DNSv4 schemes file in your My Documents Jigsaw Trading folder. Now in addition to this, Ninja released some changes to their Beta 9 version of Ninja Trader 8, which changed the programming language and caused the tools to fail. And this version will now work with the latest beta release of Ninja 8. We've also fixed the reset on new bar feature and we've addressed the issue with running the tools on the Slovakian version of Windows which I figure most of you didn't actually know about. And we've also finally addressed the issues related to depth and sales on chart tabs of NinjaTrader 8. So that's all for this release. Thanks for watching. Look out over the next few weeks for another release. Bye.